Desert plateaus to dense terrain forests. This part of the country held something magical for everyone who cared to look. As she trudged on, she noticed a change in the air that. Signaled the presence of another being. At first, she thought it might be another Zaka, but we came to their way toward the summit. But there came no sound of footsteps crunching leaves underfoot. Instead, a low growl echoed through the wood, sending shivers down Amora's spine. Despite the fear welling up inside her, something compelled her to continue moving forward until she stumbled upon a magnificent she wolf standing watch nearby. Instead of attacking, however, the creature merely looked at Amara with wise eyes that seemed to understand far more than any animal should. They stood there in silence for several moments, observing one another before the wolf finally spoke. Carry the weight of the world upon your shoulders, child. 
Stunned by the unexpected greeting, Amara could do nothing but stare back in confusion. But, but as the moment stretched on, she realized the truth behind those words. For so long, she had struggled with the burden of society's expectations, unsure which version of herself would bring happiness or fulfillment now. Standing face to face with this powerful predator, she realized the futility of trying to fit into someone else's vision of normality, of perhaps the answer lay somewhere outside of civilized boundaries altogether. The rest of Amara's journey toward the top became a blur of introspection, punctuated occasionally by the occasional glimpse of the wolf keeping pace beside her. Shaken and stirred by the arousal, Amara stepped boldly closer to the wolf. She brushed her hand tenderly over the soft fur ruffling around its neck, fingers tracing patterns inspired by the sensual curves of its body, feeling every nerve ending come alive. The two females in Stevanira, until their lips met in a passionate kiss unlike anything I'd had known before. Their bodies pressed together as if reuniting in a primordial dance. Witness time in the morning. It wasn't just physical traction, no. The intimacy went far deeper. A deep kinship born of soulful communication formed and their energies entangled like in a twine vines grappling in an exhilarating embrace. Both feel instinctively this union should never end. Their spirits cleaving inextricably. Together they tasted sun showers, sweet ecstasy laced with impassioned agony while Mother Earth watched benignly. Ah, 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 whether gift or curse, the higher realm demands payment for blessings bestowed. Exacting toe in heartache. That unchanging rule remained true through all eternities, affirming existence itself with each fleeting and its air and flash of joy imbued with equal parts. Sorrow. Thus did love and loss balance precariously ever life occur. A universal seesaw forever defined mathematical symmetry. Once the shed climax subsided, Amara noticed a strange transformation wrought upon the she wolf partner. The form slowly began to evolve. No longer constrained exclusively by mammalian attribute, enlightenment infused her protean state, while Earth's energy infused hers fully. The progression spilling moonbeams and vital storms of Earth. Magic from the pores of their merged physicality. An ethereal vapor enveloped them, a sacred cloak intricately braiding living ah, essence ah, with spiritual ah, substance. Ah, with each passing second, visibility grew murky as ephemeral, ration heightened tangibly underscoring drastic mortifications occurring directly between life forms most primitive to four unfathomably complex. Mm -hmm. As the culmination of their primal communion reached the zenith, 
Amara couldn't deny the seductive pull drawing her back into familiar embraces, rekindling passions long thought buried beneath shame and guilt as she reveled in the sinfully lush caresses lavished upon her by those closest to her being. Ah, ah, ah. It felt so wrong yet also right an irresistible temptation compelling her toward the precipice of self-destruction enticed by forbidden fruits plucked from family tree her body quivered under the weight of feverish desire to long suppress as tongues twisted knots and skin seared under scorching touches Amaru embraced the taboo, her soul ablaze with libidinal flames, looking at moral constraints, governing societal order, but who defined what constituted insectable behavior? Was it truly immoral to desire those possessing similar bloodlines when genetic proximity fostered and tense connections transcending mere biology. Lost in the delirium, gripping her sanity, Amara surrendered to nature's dictates, letting go of misguided inhibitions, stifling human potential. The body arched toward her loved ones, hands eagerly clutching their figures like anchor lines, keeping her moored in an otherwise turbulent world. Ah. In these fleeting moments, her identity dissolved away, replaced by pure analytic edges, governing interactions. They snarled and growled, immunity to sure destruction, tearing into one another with raw ferocity forms, familial ties binding tightly. As they convulse on the edge of oblivion, their combined essences merged into something greater than individual components could achieve separately. With their cataclysmic embrace, a churning maelstrom of elemental forces, elemental forces fueled by the volcanic fusion of their collective energy, energies, cascading guidance, shock skyward, missing skyward, piercing dimensional barriers, one spot, sacrosanct, Begging expiration. expiration.
Oh, <laughs> 